Hey guys, good morning, good afternoon and good evening. This is Ankush here from Alif Consulting. Welcome in our Managing Windows Updates with Maintenance Configuration video. In this video, we will be going to understand and talk about how we can use Maintenance Configuration option to do uh, our uh, VM updates for patches and the other updates basically which has happened on the platform level as well. Now here is the agenda of this video. So we will be going to talk about the maintenance type. We will be talk, going to talk about the what kind of maintenance configuration we have, what kind of scope we have and what are the management option we have. And then I would be going to walk you through with a little demo where I would be going to show you how you can create a maintenance configuration and assign it to the VM or on your other resources which is supported. Now let's quickly jump to the introduction. So as we know, Azure and Microsoft basically up, re, do release the updates on its platform level to improve the reliability, performance and security of the host infrastructure of the virtual machine. The purpose of these updates uh, to basically have the patching uh, software component in the host environment to get upgraded network components, get upgraded features, enhancement and security upgrade the network component or decommission the hardware these updates are rarely effect to the host machines or the host vms when the update do have an effect azure choose basically a least impactful method for the updates the first up, first update method or the first update which option they have is update does not require a reboot the vm is paused while host it host is updated or a vm is live migrate to the another host the, the second option which they do if maintenance required a reboot you the customer will be notified for the plan maintenance and azure also provide a windows in which they can go ahead and do the maintenance uh, by by us by their self else once the time is completed it's a four week of time when that time is completed a microsoft will be automatically going to do that maintenance now maintenance type we have a two types of maintenance type first the maintenance which does not require a reboot most platform update does not affect the customer vms when a no impact update is not possible azure choose the update mechanism that is a least impactful to the customer vm right the most uh, non zero impact maintenance pause the vm for the less than 10 seconds in certain cases azure use the memory preserving maintenance mechanism this mechanism pause the vm for typically up to 30 seconds and preserve the memory in ram the vm is then resumed and its clock is automatically sync that's the first method where if non zero impact maintenance is there then a vm is paused for less than 10 seconds if the memory preserve maintenance mechanism is used then the VM will be paused for up to 30 seconds and then it will be automatic and the VM will be automatically removed and clock will automatically sync. The second maintenance type is the maintenance that required a reboot. In the rear case where windows need to be rebooted for the plan maintenance, customer will be notified in advance plan maintenance that have a two phase. First self-service phase and the second is a scheduled maintenance phase. During the self-service phase which Typically, least for four weeks, a customer can start the maintenance on their VMs as the part of self-service. You can query each VM to see the status and the result of, of the last maintenance request. Now, the maintenance configuration, we, we understand like all the maintenance type we have. Now, let's take an example. We have a thousand VMs and out of thousand VMs, our 700 vms is required a reboot because that's a that's a maintenance which is which is required to have the vm to be rebooted that's where a maintenance configuration can be used maintenance configuration give you ability to control and manage the update for many azure virtual machine resources since azure frequently updates its infrastructure to improve reliability performance security or launch the new features most updates are transparent to user but some sensitive workloads like 
gaming media streaming and the financial transaction cannot be tolerate even few second of the vm freezing or disconnecting from the maintenance that's where a maintenance need to be the, the maintenance reboot is need to be performed sec third maintenance configuration is integrated with the azure resource graph graph which is also known arg for the low latency and high scale customer experience so this is the all the features or uh, the benefit we can get with the maintenance configuration scope we have a uh, three types of scope with the uh, maintenance configuration the first scope is host in a host isolated virtual machines isolated machine virtual machine scale set and dedicated host will be part of the scope second scope we have is a uh, os image in this one vm scale set is basically the supported resources third we have a guest in which virtual machines and azure arc servers are the supported resources now let's talk about the host scope in this scope you can manage the platform update that does not require a reboot on your isolated virtual machines isolated virtual machine scale set instances and the dedicated hosts some feature and limitations unique to the host scope and those are schedule schedules can be set anytime within the 35 days after 35 days updates are automatically applied a minimum of two hours of maintenance window is required for this scope the second scope which we have is os image with this scope the maintenance configuration let you decide when to apply upgrades to the os disk in your virtual machine scale set through a easier and more predictable experience a upgrade work by replacing the os disk of a vm with a new disk created using the latest image version any configured extension or the custom data script run on the os disk while the data disks are retained some feature and limitations unique to this scope and those are scale set need to have automated automatic os upgrade enabled in order to use this maintenance uh, configurations schedule recurrence is defaulted to daily by default a minimum of 5 hours is required for this maintenance uh, scope uh, the third sc scope which we have is a guest this scope is integrated with the update management center which allows you to save a recurring deployment schedules to up install the updates for your windows servers linux machine in azure and in on premise environment and the other cloud environment connected using the azure arc enabled servers some features and limitations are unique to this scope and those are patch orchestration for virtual machine need to be set to automatic by platform a minimum of one hour and 10 minutes is required for the for this maintenance window there is no limit to the recurrence of your schedule right the management options so we have a uh, three types of management option for the manage for this uh, maintenance configuration and those are azure cli powershell and azure portal right if you are pretty happy to work with the command line you can use azure cli and the powershell and if you really want to only work with the graphical uh, way of doing this task then you can use the azure portal for the same now let's quickly jump to the demos so in this demo i would be going to show you how you can create a maintenance configuration and assign it to your virtual machines or the other resources so i am already logged in in my portal so for the maintenance configuration you just need to go for search you need to search for a maintenance configuration and this is how your maintenance configuration console is look like uh, you just need to create on uh, click maintenance configuration or click create need to create on uh, need to click on plus create now if you have any maintenance uh, configuration is created all of those would be visible here in our case we don't have any maintenance configuration create uh, created so let's click on and uh, create maintenance configuration and create a new one right so first of all you need to specify the resource group in which you want to create the maintenance configuration what is the configuration uh, name look like so let me give uh, the short name for this and then what is the location is going to be it's need to be a sorry it's need to be a reasons uh, locate it needs to be in the same region where your maintenance need to be applied and then you can uh, select the maintenance scope either it's going to be your dedicated or isolated uh, 
infrastructure you want to apply it for the vm uh, vmss uh, operating system or you want to apply for guest so let's go for guest you can select what is the set setting is a uh, reboot setting is it's required for always reboot reboot only if required or it's never reboot and then you can specify the schedule when you want to apply the patch when it's need to be started what is the time right what is the time zone is going to be what is the maintenance window is what is the repeat is what is the end date is right all of those things you can that can be a part of this schedule right you just need to click on uh, save you and the next window you can add the machines right so whatever the machines you that need to be part of this uh, maintenance configuration you can add that so in my case i already have a one vm uh, so let's uh, select that right click on uh, next and then you can specify what are the upgrades or updates you want to include and exclude for this maintenance uh, click on uh, next you can specify the tag and then click on uh, review plus create it's gonna run the final validation and then from here you can see uh, what are the maintenance scope and the other uh, informations are there which has been specified and then you can click on create as soon as you click on create it will be going to submit this deployment and will be going to create a maintenance configuration for us now let's wait for some time to get this uh, maintenance configuration is created and then i would be going to show you how exactly it's it's look like so as of now the deployment is in a progress so let's go back to the configuration management console and wait for some time to get this uh, deployment uh, to be finished right in a meanwhile if you really want to see if your uh, maintenance uh, configuration is created you can go ahead and click on refresh to see that as well okay it's failed due to the certain reasons right uh okay oh deployment is failed let's try one more time and see if that's work demo uh it should be in uh, central india cm it should be on uh, the name is already taken huh which means the maintenance configuration is already there okay it's already created okay it's it's give us the error but it's already created so now you can see this maintenance is already created if you go into this maintenance uh, you would be able to see what are the co basic configuration is how many machines are there if you really want to add more machines you can add more also you just need to click on add to add more machine in this configuration like if you really want to add this win okay so this machine has been not added the configuration is done but this machine has been not added okay the orchestration mode is not set at by platform for this machine that's the reason it's not added so that's a one of the requirement for the uh, for the scope of uh, of the of this one which we have defined this one uh, which is the guest right so in with the, in my vm that has been not set so that's the reason the vm is not part of that this uh, maintenance group and uh, sorry the maintenance group yes uh, the maintenance configuration uh, that's the reason it's give us the error also right so but yes uh, from here you can add the more machines you can uh, set the schedule you can add and modify the schedule you can include the update or remove the update or you can I would add the update classifications also if you really want to update from here and then you can uh, see the property of uh, and the configuration of of of, of this uh, maintenance configuration right and then you can have a multiple configurations to be created across the multiple regions or or for the multiple vms according to your schedules uh, if you have really have a multiple schedule for uh, for for your environment wise or maybe from the application wise or for or maybe from the from the department wise so that's how you can have your maintenance configuration created and assigned to the vm also that's in this that's it in this demo i hope you like this video if you like please click on like and subscribe for more upcoming videos and 
feel free to reach us if you have any questions thank you